welcome to Little Giggles Inns. My name's Martha and I'm going to show you around the nursery today. Come along for the tour. As soon as you come through the door here at Little Giggles Inns, you're greeted with the parents area. Here's where you need to find all your information, leaflets and day-to-day -day information that you may require at Little Giggles. So here is our little babbler's room. This is a shoe-free zone. The reason we do this is to keep our babies extra safe. All our doors have locks on. To gain entrance, you have to knock and a practitioner will come and greet you at the door. This, again, is for extra safety for all of our children. In our little babbler's room, it is all sensory-based play learning. So we've got numerous natural objects for holistic learning. We also have fantastic ICT resources which enable children to fully enjoy the light and dark sensory experience. We've got small worlds, so children at a very young age can start to learn about the world around them. We have fantastic problem solving resources, especially this one here that's on the wall to encourage children to engage in that early cognitive brain development. We've got mirror play, so children can learn about reflection and learn about how their body moves and how it works. We've got a gorgeous black and white area here with a lovely draped canopy for the children to really enjoy. Over here is our tabletop learning, so this is where we do a lot of our malleable activities, paint, sticking, just to name a few. We've also got our sand and water tray so that we can have a holistic approach to learning. Here is our physical area to encourage our children to um, get familiar with their bodies, to build up that lower body strength that they need to get them ready for walking. It's a wonderful tunnel and it's also got um, mirror reflections on so that we can learn about our body parts. In here, we've also got high chairs um, to support children that are of the younger age so that they can still access the malleable activities. And we've also got older chairs getting ready for those children to move upstairs that are becoming of the appropriate age range. In here, we also have our own bathroom area so we can change nappies um, as and when we need to. We, in here, are completely child-led. So babies' bottles and things like that can all be made in here. Um, we kindly ask parents to provide bottles and powder and we will make them up at nursery. If you wish to breastfeed as well and send us in breast milk, that's absolutely fine. We can store that here on the premises. All the routine in here is completely your child-led. So if you need to have two sleeps a day for your child, then that's what we endeavour to achieve while we're here. Meal times are set, so that enables us to get all the children into a similar routine, but still tailor it to the individual needs of the child. No matter what stage you're at on the weaning process, our cook on site, um, Ellie, prepares all the meals from scratch so we can have them um, blended, pureed or lumpy, whatever stage you're at, we can support you. Here is our little giggler's room. This is our one to twos, so come on in. So in our one to twos room, we have a lovely book area, which also doubles up as a music area for our focus group times for our one to twos. Our group times at this age range is very short and sweet, so we're still developing their attention skills and getting them to do focus learning. Over here, we have our lovely indoor soft play resource. This is building up muscle strength and getting them ready for that big garden outside for the, for the older children when they turn two. Over here, we have our small world area. This is encouraging the children to start thinking about how they can imagine different scenarios, how they can put that learning in from home um, to small world. We have craft table over here. So the children in one to twos can access these resources as they wish. They can choose what they want as within all our other rooms. Everything is child-led learning. Um, again, we have similar resources such as sticking, glue, um, shaving foam and other lovely delights to get nice and messy. Over here we've also got our sand and water and we've got a fantastic additional resource which is our light up sand and water tray. This can also double up as um, a malleable tray as well. It's a fantastic resource which we love to use. Over here is our role play area so we're looking at how to get dressed how to look after the babies we're starting to realize now that we're a bit bigger than babies but we're not quite one of the biggest we love early role play as it gives us an idea of children's understanding of the world which is around them and from this we can build on their play-based learning over here is our sensory and construction area 
So we've got numerous treasure baskets, we've got numerous sensory toys to still continue that holistic learning that they start to learn in the babies to develop their cognitive development and daily brain development. We've also got our snug area over here, which is our wooden den. The children enjoy a nice relax in there and they also enjoy sensory based learning activities in there also. We also love music and dance throughout all the rooms in Little Giggles. You'll see that all of our rooms have CD players in. This is to encourage early movement, early dance, again in line with expressive arts and designs. The next room I'm going to show you is our little chuckler room. This is for our two to threes. Come on in and take a look. So in our two to three room, we've got a variety of exciting, fun packed activities for the children to get stuck into. Here is our small world and construction area. This is together for a reason so that children can really build on that imaginative play skills, getting them ready for role playing and storytelling when they move upstairs. Here is one of our fantastic resources. We have these in all of our rooms now, right up until preschool, so that the children can really enjoy small world play. They can access the resources and bring them over so that they're constantly developing their imagination. We've got an array of tabletop activities which we set out for the children. These are all tailor-made to the children's individual needs. The key worker will plan activities based around your children's individual needs to develop and continuously pro progress them in learning. We have a wonderful creation station, which is another resource which we use for malleable resources and for also small world play. Um, in here at the moment, you can see that we've got a farm set up. So it's so much more than just a farm. It covers different areas of the EYFS, which we have to go by to teach our children the curriculum. So for example, a farm can also be knowledge and understanding of the world. It can be communication and language. It can be PSED, sharing the resources, talking about how the animals may be feeling. And we can also look at physical development. Let's go and move like farm animals. Fantastic resource with an open-ended outcome. So over here, we've got our sand and water play area. The children can access the resources as they wish. It's a free flow activity. It's always out, the children can access it whenever they want. So down here, we've got a tough tray. This is to really engross the children in a variety of activities. So in here at the moment, we've got bug finding. That's a fantastic learning experience for the children, bringing a bit of outdoors indoors, and then we can go outside on a bug hunt and explore the bugs, something that the children really enjoy and supports understanding of the world. So this is our other side to our two to three room. As you can see, it's very large and it's very spacious and it's very open. This enables children to move at their pace. So the learning is completely followed by whatever they want to play with, which is really important to us and it helps us to engage our planning. So this over here is our creative area. We've got a mixture of paints, um, sticking, we've got gloop, we've got every messy play that you can imagine, um, which the children can enjoy and create lovely pictures for you parents at home. Over here, we've got our literacy area. This is getting children ready for early sounds to move on to the phonics, which will take place in our preschool rooms. Over this side of the room, we have our maths-based learning. So early numbers, early shapes, early recognition of shapes in the environment, which all fit in with the early years foundation stage learning. Moving on to this area of the room, this is our role play area. So again, is an excellent resource to learn about home, learn about routines, learn about things such as occupancies and places where we live around the world and our own individual cultures. Here is our holistic area. Our holistic area is aimed at developing children's holistic learning. So we're looking at what we can do with objects, different ways in which we can use them. It ranges from different materials, from wood to metal. So our children have a really great experience of learning about the world around them. Here is our cosy corner. In our cosy corner, we've got the book area. We've got music so that we can have focus group times over here, learning about different sounds, how they can be changed. We've also got book story bags so children can start to invent their own stories and recreate stories from the books that they read. We've also got our puppets so that we can reimagine and explore different roles. We're very blessed at INS because we've got two outdoor areas. This is our under two outdoor area, which enables the children to explore early climbing and learning. We've also got our outdoor sand pit. 
Over here we've got our tunnel and we've also got our miniature train to encourage um, outdoor imaginative skills. We've also got our bug city where we hope that lots of bugs are going to come and see us while we're here to play. We've also got outdoor bikes and trikes for the children to enjoy while they're here playing with us. Outdoor learning is really important to us here at Little Giggles and we hope to spend as much time outside as possible. To enable us to do that, we ask parents to provide outdoor wellies so we can come out in the rain. We provide the outdoor suits so you don't have to worry about that. And we also ask for sun cream and sun hats and woolly hats and gloves in the winter time. So as we move around the garden, we can see that we've got a water wall, which is a fantastic resource that we can play with all year round. We also have a buddy bench and a hobbit house for the children to play. And we also have um, imaginative dressing up in there as well, so that the children can really get into the role play while they're out here with us. We've got a train where we absolutely love going on outings. The children enjoy charging us extortionate prices to get on the train. Um, we've got our bikes and trikes which are out all the time. We've got our castle where the children love imaginative play. We, they develop lots of um, imaginative role play based on their own experiences from the world around them. We also have here set up um, an understanding of the world activity for speed and understanding going up and down as part of maths activities. We've got our crawl through tunnel which is a sensory experience as well as finding out what our bodies can and can't do, where they can and where they can't go. We've got our outdoor sand pit which has currently got construction in it to encourage um, looking at being builders. Over here we've got our rocket house to encourage learning about space. While we're out here, we can look up what's in the sky so that we get a full uh, learning experience while we're out here. Over here, we've got our mud kitchen and our mud benches so children can enjoy getting stuck into mud and enjoying all the mess. So this is one of our two preschool rooms. This is our preschool bedroom. Come and have a look. So in here, we're getting children ready for school so we've got a lot of um, phonics activities we've got a lot of carpet time we've got a lot of focused activities developing that listening and attention that they need to be school ready okay so over here we've got our lovely role play area again more involvement in imaginative play we're extending that further now we're up here we've got our craft area over here with our tough tray which has currently got water in it for filling and emptying purposes and then over here we've actually got um, our electronics set out at the minute over here is our literacy area as you can see we've got our sounds boxes and we've also got some sounds tubs as well all these are fun activities to encourage children who are more reluctant to take part in phonics to be more phonics aware going into school over here we've got our lovely maths area here we're looking at simple addition and subtraction. We're also looking at shapes, measure and sense of time so that we're encouraging children to talk about before, after, when. Okay. Over here we have our den area. This is for developing imaginative play-based learning. We also encourage children to explore books in this area. We also have blankets set out and cushions so children can have a relax if they need to have a rest. Over here is our lovely book area. We have chairs for children to sit and relax and listen to the practitioners read them stories. We've got puppet play, we've also got music over here so that we can learn about expressive arts and designs in line with the early years foundation stage. Over here we've got games. These games are to encourage um, PSED, turn taken, and they're also to encourage communication and language. We also have maths games and we also have literacy games as well, building in that phonics, early reading, early writing. Over here, we have our large construction and small world area. Again, it's together to encourage the children to mix the two media together to develop a wider variety and understanding of imaginative play. So, in each of our rooms, we have an indoor bathroom. That bathroom is so that the children can go and access that whenever they wish. If you're toilet training at home from whatever age, we will help you here at Little Giggles. We have child-sized toilets so that the children don't have to have potties if you don't want them to. We also have potties if you do. Um, whatever you're doing at home, we will help you speak to your key worker and they will support you in this. So the role of the key worker 
what's that? So it's really important here that we have strong key worker bonds with our children. This enables them to feel safe, secure and happy while they're here with us. Without that key worker bond, children will be rather upset separating from the parents. We ask parents to work with us as much as possible to develop that relationship, talk about us at home and it helps the children become more familiar with us. We have what's called a parent zone app and it's really important that you download that because key workers will provide observations, assessments, baseline assessments and two year checks which will tell you all about your child's learning while they're here. It includes photographs, videos, nappies if they're having nappies, meals, what they've had to eat while they're here with us if they've been unwell. It also includes um, sleep time and it also includes instant messaging. So if you need to speak to us and you haven't got time to pick up the phone, send us a quick message and your key worker will receive it. We can also send you messages. So asking for simple things like more nappies, we can instantly message you. This is our second preschool room, Preschool Blue. Come on in, let's take a look. So in our preschool, blue room we have an array of activities that are very similar to the preschool room across the hall so i won't go into too much about it but i will briefly show you the areas so again here is our tp area where the children can enjoy imaginative play and have a nice snuggle and a quiet time if they wish here is our book area set out similar to the one that you've just seen across the hall Lots of um, story sacks, lots of puppet play, lots of um, early reading, play-based learning here. And then over here, we have our literacy area. Lots of sounds, lots of let's find the key to the right letter so that we're looking at our own sounds in our names, we're looking at initials and we're looking at the early start to build up reading. Over here is our maths area. Again, laid out similar to the room across the hall. We have our individual technology area here. So we've got metal detectors, we've got um, road cats so that we can look at left, right, up, down, all of that building up that maths um, and that ICT development there. Got our role play area here, which is lovely um, and open for the children to explore, looking at occupancies, different roles in the world and where they fit in. Here we've got our lovely creation station that's set up. Currently it's set up as room on the broom. This is all for the children to learn and explore about stories, coupling them together. It's also a malleable resource and it's also a small world or a construction resource. Over here we have our um, sand and water area and our malleable area. Simple activities over here include early mark making, painting, sticking, gloop and every messy thing you can think of. Over here we have our large construction and small world area. Again, the areas are together so that the children can mix the worlds as they wish. If you would like to come along to parents' evenings, we would love to have you here. Um, please feel free to contact us at any time if you want an update on your child's development. Alternatively, you can always look on your Parent Zone app and on there we'll have observations on. Um, we also have open days, we also have craft mornings and stay and plays. It would be lovely to see you. If you can't come, please send grandma, granddad, aunt, uncle. We'd love to see you all because it's a family environment here at Little Giggles. Okay. Here is our kitchen. All our meals are prepared from scratch here at Little Giggles Inns. Um, we have a healthy menu for our children to explore. We cater for dietary requirements and there are any allergens that you may have, so please let us know on the induction process. Our meal times are 7.30 to 8.30 is breakfast. That includes a variety of cereals and toast porridge or Weetabix. We also have baby porridge for our younger babies. Morning snack is delivered to the children at half past nine till 10 o'clock. That includes a variety of simple snacks such as crackers, fruit, breadsticks. Lunch is served at half past 11. That's also always a hot meal. Um, that's also including a pudding as well. In the afternoon, we have a snack tea where we encourage children that are staying till six to go home and have a snack because it is a snack tea. That's also a variety of hot and cold foods. Example of those are jacket potatoes and beans or sandwiches. I hope that you've enjoyed the tour with me here at Little Giggles Inns. If you would like to book in or you would like more information or you've got any inquiries, please contact us on the number below or alternatively email us or drop us a Facebook message and we will be in contact shortly. We hope to see you soon.